Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're gonna be fucking around on Skater XL. We actually have a map we're gonna play on, but I did want to play a little bit of multiplayer on today's video because they officially took multiplayer out of beta, so now it's just like actual thing. Nothing too much changed with the multiplayer besides it being allowed on all platforms. Um, I think PC is only with PC players and then like Xbox players only with Xbox players, etc. So there's no cross platform, which I'm not going to complain too much about because again, servers are pretty populated on PC and stuff and I don't know if it's the same on console because I know Skater XL has struggled a bit on console. But, um, pretty much, like, again, I'm happy Multiplayer is a actual thing and it's a full thing in the actual game now and people on console can now play, um, Multiplayer and stuff. But I definitely think it would be a cool thing down the road if they can figure out a way to make it cross platform. Because I just feel like that's a good direction for a lot of games to go, definitely newer games now, to make their games cr um, cross platform. Because this just kind of helps with uh, keeping the more type of life. But today's map we're gonna be fucking around on. I probably gotta leave this. The Primitive Park. It's actually a pretty cool park from the screenshots I saw and shit. Nothing too crazy, but I like the little lights and shit that they did add around the map. And if you're wondering why I'm not doing clips and all that shit, is since I updated and I'm not playing in the beta version, um, I don't have any mods. And the Dog Vinci mods are now officially gone unless you backed up your um, game or some shit. But, um, yeah, RIP Dog Vinci. <laughs> no, but besides that, we're just gonna be fucking around. There's not too much crazy shit on this map. But I did wanna at least make a video today and shit. But I do really like this map. I like little simple like warehouse maps sometimes. They're just sometimes the best maps and they're the most simple um, maps. That, but they just sometimes have like the best setup. Got some pizza, some sprite. Got some primitive boards and shit. That'd be cool. Again, like a lot of maps um, sometimes put in TVs and then they don't put anything on the TVs again. Not a thing I would complain about because sometimes it does make the map hours way bigger. But it'd be cool if there was like a skate park, like a primitive like skate edit or some shit going on on the TV. I like just looking at small little details like that on maps like this. I think it's the coolest shit, B99. Okay, cool, cool. I fuck with this map. I'm actually happy I downloaded it. Like sometimes I'll just randomly hop on audio. And like, I won't, I, sometimes I'll see maps in Apple people's videos and I'm like, oh, that'd be a cool map to make a video on. But like, sometimes I'll just hop on Mario and just find like a random map that I never heard of. And like, sometimes I have the most fun on them. But yeah, I kind of like base Skater XL. Like again, the Dog Vinci um, mod was fun. It was fun to do flips and fuck around and stuff. But low key, Base Skater XO has came a long way. Like, I know a lot of people complain about it because a lot of the updates are small and not like really like huge hyped up fucking uh, updates. We kind of all knew about the update um, that it was going to come out because either they already mentioned it or people were bitching enough about it and they said, hey, we're going to try add that in. But you know what I'm saying, they don't add in, like, some games would be like, hey, we're going to add in, the, add this and then the next update, and then they add a few extra things. Yeah, it's okay, easy day, they don't do that. But again, I'm happy to see what the game has came. I don't think, like, it's going to be the number one skate game, obviously. Um, definitely, if, it depends. EA, if they fuck up skate, yeah, it might be, but I doubt EA will fuck up skate. It's, like, it did. It's like, I don't know, they're riding a lot with Skate. And I kind of hope they don't fuck it up, but, um, I definitely don't think people will forget about this game and not play it, but, I don't know, I definitely feel like even Saturn's gonna have kind of a hard time to kind of keep up with Skate. Because with EA, those skate games on like Session or Skate or XL where you just load up a map and just skate on it and then switch the map in 10 minutes. 
it's like a whole open world skate game and i feel like definitely with skater xl and session they're good games but they will open world games dude it'd be so much different and I know with like open world games, it's kind of hard to develop those type of games because you need a big ass development team and you need to spend a lot of fucking time. And I know like Session and Skater XL, they're pretty decent game development development um, crews and shit, but um, they're not as big as EA and they don't have the funding like EA, so. It is what it is. But again, I love the fucking LEDs. Definitely the purple ones on, like around the map. Just looks so nice. I don't know. This map looks very plain and basic, but at the same time, they're just nice little small things on this map that I like a lot. I'm lucky I'm kind of killing it with the manuals in today's video. Oh, yes. I got the grind. Oh, dude, that grind was fucking sick. Like, I don't know, I like how in Skater XL you could use two analog sticks to do tricks instead of just one how it is in session. Like, I know Skate, they might stick to how Skate 3 was, which is, it's kind of more like session where it's like one analog to control rotation and the other to control the trick. But it'd be so cool if they did like kind of what Skater XL did and had the two analog. Because it just feels so much more comfortable. Or just at least have an option for it. But yeah, no. Also, I want to... I'm working on, like, the whole sizing of the stickers and everything. I'm going to get that done. And then, also, I got to look at sticker paper and stuff. I've just been pretty much just kind of busy with Apple shit. And, um... But yeah, no. I'm definitely hoping to get that shit set up very fucking soon. Because I have the website subscription and everything all set up, I just kind of have to get the circles and launch website. But pretty much, I'm gonna be, um, if you guys didn't check out my last video, I'm gonna be selling stickles and everything. And pretty much, I'm not gonna be selling them for a hell of a ridiculous price or anything like that. And they're gonna be high quality fucking stickles, so it's gonna be definitely worth your money. I'm gonna have one sticker design for $5, and the other one's gonna be, um, $3. If you want to go check out those designs and everything because you're interested and you want to support the channel, go check out my other video. It'll probably be um, in my outro and stuff. But um, pretty much I just kind of go over the whole f f where I'm at pretty much with setting up all these stickers and the whole website and everything. And pretty much hoping sometime this month to be dropping that shit. And again, if anyone does actually buy this shit, and I'm not really saying anyone has to, but if you do, I am very grateful and I would thank you from the bottom of my fucking heart because, again, you're helping support the channel and stuff. And, again, I'm not expecting to make really any fucking money out of this. Uh, actually, in reality, I know I'm probably going to lose money from doing this. But, again, it's just something fun that I want to do. And it's kind of fun, the whole process of designing a stick or, or anything like that. And I want to move to, like, doing t-shirts and stuff at one point and hoodies. But I just want to start out with stickers for now. And kind of see how that goes. But, um, definitely it's just kind of a fun thing to, to just design shit and to be creative. And it just, I don't know, it's like, again, I like working with people. Like, again, with my channel. I don't know, I'd be down to do collabs, but I'm not really at the point right now where I want to do collabs, if that makes sense. Like, I'd want to work with, like, work and make, um, content with other people, but, like, I don't just, like, when a random fucking person comments in my, like, com a YouTube comment section, and it's like, oh, I want to do a collab, like, I don't want to do a collab with them, I'm like, you're some random fucking ten-year-old who wants some subscribers and to be honest you're not gonna get really jack shit from my channel because i only have like 89 subs but um pretty much like i'd be down to collab with friends and stuff like that but again i don't have a lot of friends that I really upload normal like they i like, might have uploaded in the past or upload every once in a while but not on like a normal basis and shit i try to keep it at least pretty normal like i know i might skip some days and stuff like that but i try 
and keep a good schedule on uploading. And definitely, I, th this I might regret this decision, but I'm gonna try and do it. But um, I'm gonna be pretty much dropping the stickers for two months. For the first month of the sticker dropping, I will be uploading a video or at least a live streaming. For every single day of that first month that sticker drops. And then the second month, I don't know, it might be my like, mental break from like, going mentally insane from making so much content. But I think it'd be a fun thing to do and it'd be a fun way to kind of promote the sticker as well and get more content out to you guys as well. But, um, yeah, I don't want this video being hella long, so I think I'm going to wrap it up here. This map's hella nice. Definitely would say go download it. If you're wondering what the map's name is real quick, it's called Primitive Park. It's on audio. Go download that shit. It's hella worth it. But besides that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.